The impact of the lockdown will have a severe impact on the economy as well as individuals and companies somewhere down the line. This week we will therefore look into short term price movements during the lockdown and we will also try and give an idea of what is expected for agricultural commodity prices over the medium to long term. All in this week's video so make sure to stay tuned. Hi, I'm Johnny and welcome to this week's AMT Fresh Produce Outlook on the Market, made possible by Standard Bank. These videos are aimed at keeping you up to date with the latest trends on the fresh produce markets of South Africa. As promised this week, we will look into short-term price movements on the market, but also will try to give an idea of where prices are headed over the medium to long term and why the South African Reserve Bank just announced a cut in the repo rate. But let's go and see what happened to vegetable prices the past week. We have seen that potato prices decreased by 4% to 35 rand 55 per 10 kilogram bag, with the tomato price staying on a high level of 10 rand 31 per kilogram. Carrot prices traded 22% higher on 8 rand 31, with the onion price also getting some support last week, uh, increasing by 13% to 6 rand 23 per kilogram. Demand for vegetables on the markets is still very good uh, with especially high quality produce that is in high demand at the moment. I think the importance of the informal or the hooker trade was seen the past week uh, with, the, uh, with the most prices bouncing back um, as a result of hookers uh, or the informal traders that were allowed back on the markets and uh, not during the first week of the, the lockdown. Um, when we look into other vegetable prices, it traded as follows. Cabbages on 3 rand 46, garlic on 88 rand 22, spinach on 4 rand and 8 cents, sweet potatoes on 4 rand 66, peppers on 9 rand 47, and the latest chili price on 5 rand 31 per kilogram. We are moving towards winter and we usually see a shift in demand from uh, cold fruits and uh, more towards vegetables uh, that can be cooked and we are expecting um, uh, on average lower fruit prices. The banana price traded on 7 rand 64 per kilogram last week while the apple price traded 1% lower on 7 rand 23 per kilogram. The pear price increased by 18% to 5 rand 88 per kilogram. This was mostly due to the informal market or the hawkers that were allowed to trade again as supporting a higher demand of course and the higher price. The other price is also under pressure due to high volumes and especially lower demand from restaurants and catering businesses etc having low demand for hours at the moment. We have seen that the latest hour price traded on 8 rand 23 per kilogram but we're expecting higher quality during the coming week to support the an upward movement of the hour price. The latest orange price decreased by 5% week on week to 5 rand 21 per kilogram while lemon prices decreased by 8% week on week to 9 rand 42 per kilogram. The grape season is coming to an end with the lower volumes of course supporting the higher price when the latest price trading on 20 rand 44 per kilogram last week. Other fruit prices traded as follows. Mangoes on 17 rand 87, pineapples on 11 rand 62 and the latest peach price on 13 rand 33 per kilogram. The outbreak of the COVID-19 virus uh, resulted in many countries over the world to go into a lockdown period and in, in essence cut off expenditure or spending from consumers which is the lifeline of any economy. Uh, we have seen that as a result a high level of uncertainty about the future is currently uh, not only in the local markets but also in, in the international markets meaning that most businesses and individuals are cutting out unnecessary expenditures meaning that there is less money to go around. This will of course result in job losses, lower income levels per capita etc resulting in a very deep recession of not only the local but also the global economy and which can uh, flow, uh, overflow into a very deep recession. The IMF recently announced that we uh, can expect the in-shrinking of the economy of between 6 and 7% for 2020 levels last seen during the Great Depression of 1931. In an effort to try and stop 
stop this vicious cycle and hopefully try and promote or stimulate spending again, the South African Reserve Bank announced another repo rate cut on Tuesday with the main aim to hopefully uh, try and save the South African economy from this very deep recession or at least uh, cushion the impact of this recession. The repo rate cut will result in companies and individuals with a high level uh, of with a high debt uh, burden to pay less for their debt and uh, resulting in them to have more money available to spend again and hopefully get uh, the economy growing again hopefully putting more money back into the economy with less people uh, losing their jobs and getting high income levels and uh, in turn spending more money and hopefully getting this uh, positive cycle uh, up and running again. Unfortunately, the expectation is that this high level of uncertainty will remain into the near future and will result in the recession to continue for some time which will have a negative effect on most agricultural products. Prices. After the lockdown period, uh, we can therefore expect uh, over the medium to long term that agricultural commodity prices may stabilize on a lower level as was previously seen. This can mostly be due, due to low demand from your consumers uh, on the other end of the spectrum. It is important however to start the economic machine and the spending uh, cycle as soon as possible, uh, but the question will uh, remain. Can we do uh, this and get out of the lockdown without spreading the virus and creating more damage than any good?